Christmas, University of Kansas students are skipping the walk to class this semester and hopping on the bus. Students are no longer required to purchase a bus pass from KU on Wheels and don't even need to show their student ID when boarding buses on campus. A free ride may sound like a piece of cake compared to a 15-minute walk across campus, but that may no longer be the case for university students. A combination of the free rides on campus along with a lower fee for park and ride and high gas prices have led to overcrowded buses campus-wide. Um, the buses do get full, especially um, during peak travel times normally around 40, 40 on the hour, people trying to get to their on the hour class. Ridership has so far doubled from last year. This year on the first day of class, almost 13,000 rides were given by KU on wheels, doubling last year's approximate 5,000 rides. This number is only expected to rise as it gets colder outside and students are less likely to walk the few extra blocks. I'm sure people have seen bus full signs more than once already this year, which is not, it's good, the fact that the ridership's there, it, it can also cause problems. When students passed the fare free measure last spring, making the buses free for all KU students, faculty, and staff, KU on Wheels also agreed to increase its capacity by 20%. So far, this has not been done. We have the buses. Um, basically, it comes down to when are we going to use them. KU students are hoping it's a problem that'll be solved sooner than later. Well, they need to be. Uh, going every five minutes instead of 15 because I know this morning for instance I had to wait at bus stop 2 over in the park and ride for 30 minutes. Two buses went by and they were both full. KU on Wheels says it's in the process of adjusting to the increase of riders and they aren't the only transportation system experiencing problems. The Johnson County Transit that many commuter students use has also had a problem with more riders and not enough seats. University we're looking into other options to help ease the pain of high gas prices. This includes a temporary bus service running from the Lawrence campus to the KU Medical Center. KU on Wheels and the T have also made an agreement to honor each other's passes, allowing more transportation options for students.